Hamdi, 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 Hamdi. Who is this guy? Apparently he's based in Oxford. He's signed to Bass Rush Recordings, Vision Recordings, Kiwi Records. Sound is a blend of dubs at UK and grime. And he's earned some support from the biggest acts in the world, including Skrillex, Knife Party, Fred again, Zed's Dead, Porter Robinson. The Skanka track is the one I've been hearing everyone play. I have to admit, his bass lines are sick. I'm feeling him. But not to toot my own horn, but I have been making bass sounds like these way before I heard of this guy. And these bass lines are all about FM synthesis. Let's go. So let's start with the drum track, which I created with our new product, Rough and Rugged. It just came out today. It's an Ableton kit designed to help you jumpstart your idea and boost your creativity. It has nearly 1,700 audio loops, 41 unique instruments, and even a Max for Live FX plugin. So it's an amazing kit. Tier Kahoot designed this over a year of work, and it's aim to help you to create some amazing music. So here's the drum track. Here's the kick from Rough and Rugged. Here's the snare. And the kick and snare are modular instruments. So essentially you can use these macros to design an infinite variety of kick and snares. And here's some audio loops that Tier recorded from some live musicians, which you can add to your drums. Here's a wood block. And then can't forget about the cowbell. All these loops and more are available on our kit Rough and Rugged. There's also a sample and MIDI pack for non-Ableton users. You can find it down in the links below. All right, let's get on to the bass. And we're gonna be doing a vital, you guys shouldn't be complaining because this synth is for free. So any of you can grab this and follow along. Essentially, the handy bass is an FM synth bass, and it all starts with a sine wave. Just make sure phase randomization is at zero so you don't get any clicking, and the sub always sounds the same every time you hit the key. Next, we're going to enable oscillator 2. But we're going to bring the pitch up now. So for FM synthesis, I usually choose the perfect fifth, which is seven semitones up or a full octave up in any multiplier of that. So it could be seven, 12, 19, 24, 31, 36, 43, and 48. I'm just going to choose 31. And we actually don't need to hear oscillator two because it's simply being used as a modulator to modulate oscillator one. So bring the volume down. Next under oscillator one, we're gonna enable FM from oscillator two. Simply that means oscillator two will manipulate oscillator one. And you just increase the amount. You might recognize this sound from the producer Serum and even Skrillex. All they're doing is using an LFO or envelope to modulate the FM amount. Feel free to experiment with the other values of Oscillator 2's pitch. Thirty-one is just my go-to because it's two octaves and seven semitones up. All right, next we're gonna use the LFO to create a rhythm for this bass. Essentially, the handy bass plays off the fake triplet. So the fake triplet would be a pattern like this. Except he adds additional accent notes in between the main hits. So he has something like this. So boom, ba, ba, boom, 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 boom. Boom, bop. So make sure your LFO is set to trigger mode so that every time you hit the key, it starts at the beginning of the phase. And then we're using a one bar long LFO to replicate that fake triplet. Enable the paint mode for your LFO. We're gonna be choosing this uh, down shape. Essentially, we're gonna replicate the hits here using a low hit and two high hits. So that's the first set of the triplet. 
then we replate low, high, high, and then the last one, low and just one hump up. Now you can disable paint mode and just take this last note down. It's not necessary. Then apply LFO one to the FM amount. Adjust the amount so it's not so crazy. You can adjust the FM start. Use your ears and play what sounds good to you. But for the handy bass, it's set pretty low down here. And then we can adjust the FM distortion amount. You can finesse the shape of the LFO steps. We can round this out to a more shark fin shape. We can also play with the initial humps on each triplet. Maybe make it go up like that. So it has an attack before it has those gonk sounds. Whoop gonk gonk, whoop gonk gonk, whoop gonk gonk. To fatten up the sound and bring up some of the upper harmonics, we can employ a multiband compressor. To finesse the sound and accentuate the peaks of the LFO, we can apply LFO 1 to the mix and adjust the amount to taste. I just like to hint it subtly. Similarly, turn on the distortion. Adjust the taste. For this one, however, I like a bit low and we're gonna be using LFO to finesse the drive and mix as well. And then we can adjust the mix and drive the taste. All right, this is the foundation of this preset. Now we're gonna adjust and tweak some of the settings to really get this nitty and gritty. The first thing we can experiment with is the waveform of oscillator two. By changing this waveform, we'll add additional harmonics to that FM synthesis on oscillator one. So one I like is plastic scissors. I'm not sure if the free version of Vital has this one, but if not just Browse through and try some of the other ones. I'm sure you'll find good results with the other wavetables. Of course, play with the pitch as well. Here's a hint. Use the pitch snap quantized to these notes. And then every time you move the key, you'll get either an octave or perfect fifth. The other thing I like to play with is the main sine wave. I like to use this clipped sine wave in Vital. It has a warmer bass tone. And just by doing that, we also get some additional upper harmonics. So you get that grittiness. Finally, going back to the effects section, we can add some chorus to add some stereo depth. Just notice my mix is pretty down low, around 15, 17%. And I'm shaving off the bottom end so none of the low frequencies are getting uh, chorused. You don't want that. We can also add a bit of delay. Same thing for delay. I don't want those bottom end to be uh, delayed, so use a filter. We can also do the same thing with reverb. Just get rid of the bottoms. All right, here's some MIDI notes for the bass line. It's actually playing chromatically, meaning adjacent notes. Not bad, but it's not exactly that handy sound. Essentially what you want is that high pitch envelopes or a sliding bass. So to get that, the first thing is turn on always glide and then adjust the glide time to taste. I say around 0.5 to 0.6 seconds works for me.
Now, this is good. However, every time the note triggers, the LFO starts at the beginning. However, we want that fake triplet to play through the bar as instead of uh, re-triggering every time there's a new note. So what we want to do is turn on legato so that when you have an overlapping note, it just continues the LFO. It doesn't restart the LFO. Finally, we can add some additional tweaking to the sound, play around with the wavetable position. We can even add a filter. So the phaser filter under phaser positive is pretty good. It makes it sound even more gnarly and nasally. Just add some drive to it. But that's sounding pretty fat. By the way, if you want this preset, I'll leave it down in the links below. You can download it for free. All right, let's hear it all together with the drums. Oh yeah, bass. So that's pretty much the handy bass design. Pretty simple tricks, but it can go a long way. And I encourage you guys to experiment with the techniques. Just don't follow exactly step by step. Try going outside of the box. Try different wavetables, different pitches for oscillator too. Even try different patterns for the LFO shape, not to mention the filters and effects. I'm sure by applying these tricks, you can invent the next handy bass. Hope you guys enjoyed learning the handy bass. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and gets this video to more people like yourself. And if you want to support, remember we have a new pack out. It's called Rough and Rugged. It's an Ableton kit to help you jumpstart your idea. It's packed with content. And even if you don't have Ableton, we have a Wave and MIDI pack. You can find it down in the links below. Also, we have more Ableton kits, sample packs, and preset packs. If you're interested, you can find them also down in the links below. Learn 30 more quick tips with Vital with this video here. And learn the infamous Womp Bass in this video here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And until the next video, stay creative, stay healthy, and stay safe. Peace.